My name is John O'Sullivan. I milk 400 pedigree Holstein Frisian cows in Whitechurch County, Cork. I farm alongside my father, John Senior, my brother, Victor, and farm manager, David McGrath. We are passionate about Holstein Frisian breeding and cow families are the backbone of the Listoff herd. Milk quality and sustainability are very important to us in Listoff. My brother, Donal, advised us to implement selective dry cow therapy in 2016. Donal is a vet and works with Abbeville in Cork. He told us that it was a means of reducing antibiotic usage on the farm without affecting cow health and welfare, as long as we paid extra attention to hygiene at dry off. All this sounded very good, so we gave it a go. I would say selective dry cow therapy has been very successful on our farm. Approximately 90% of cows receive teeth sealer only at dry off, and there have been many advantages to this. We have managed to greatly reduce the antibiotic usage at dry off. There is a cost saving in not having to use dry cow tubes across the board. It's easier to manage cow's milk in early lactation in terms of antibiotic residues, and other health has not been affected by using selective dry cow therapy. There is probably a bit more time and effort required to dry off cows when using selective dry cow therapy. Here at Listoff, we carefully plan out drying off days at least a week in advance. We dry no more than 20 cows in a day, and we always have at least two people doing the job. Cows that require dry off are identified according to scanning dates from our vet, and cows milk records are examined on ICBF. Any cow that has been consistently under 200,000 SEC and had no clinical case of mastitis during the year are deemed eligible for sealer only. Hygiene is the most important thing when it comes to selective dry cow therapy. This cannot be rushed. Here at Listoff, we clip all cows' tails and udders just before drying off. Cows are milked first, then brought back through the parlour after washing it down. Teats need to be surgically clean when giving sealer only. We always wear clean gloves, pre-dip the teat, wipe clean with alcohol wipes and dip again after sealing. Cows are left to stand for 30 minutes after sealing. Keeping the dry cow housing clean is also very important. We clean and lime twice a day during the risk periods. We've always used Bovi Seal as our teeth sealer here in Listoff. Initially, it was recommended to us by our vets at Abbeville. We find it works really well. The sealer is easy to get out of the tube and into the teeth. This is important when using selective dry cow therapy. Bovi Seal lasts right the way through the dry period and gives great protection against mastitis. We believe it's important to stick with the tried and tested teeth sealer when you're doing selective dry cow therapy. Hi, I'm Kieran O'Mahony, veterinary manager for Zoetis. It's fantastic to see the success of Bovi Seal and selective dry cow therapy here at Listoff. It's a great example of what can be achieved using selective dry cow therapy. I had the pleasure of working with the O'Sullivans when I was in practice. I was always impressed by the great attention to detail here, especially at dry off. Drying off cows certainly requires a shift in mindset when implementing selective dry cow therapy, and it is not without risk. It involves more work for the farmer, but can also yield many benefits, as we have seen here. I recommend all dairy farmers to engage with their vet about selective dry cow therapy. The Animal Health Ireland Dry Cow Consult is an excellent scheme available free of charge to eligible farmers to help implement selective dry cow therapy on their farms. I'm delighted to see another Bovi Seal success story. It is the market leader for a reason. It is the benchmark of excellence and has demonstrated this in countless trials. In addition, it's made in Ireland. Mm -hmm.